12 until we have a new president-elect, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. Both say the other one sucks, basically, really, when it comes to character. They both say they're the worst people in the world about when they're talking about their opposition. So, character is going to matter. Uh, in fact, it probably matters as much as anything when voters actually pull that curtain back and do what they're going to do. Let's bring in national spokesperson for MoveOn.org and Hillary Clinton supporter, Karine Jean-Pierre, and CNN political commentator and former Donald Trump campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski. Uh, this has been the battleground since jump on this. Uh, with Donald Trump, this Billy Bush tape, these allegations from these women coming forward have kind of put a head on his character appraisal. He just spoke about it moments ago. Let's play his sound now. The no. People Magazine story, they brought forward six Why witnesses. Why didn't she write the story, story 12 years ago? She says she was afraid. Oh, she was afraid. Give me a break. She was afraid to write it. She would have gotten the Pulitzer Prize. Give me a break. So all these women, Why didn't everyone they, they talked to her line? They made up stories. You know why? Fame, or they wanted to help Clinton, or something. They made up they stories. They came out after you denied George, the behavior. George, George, let's not waste any more time. These stories were fabricated. They're total lies. So you're going to go through with the lawsuit? Oh, we'll find out. Let's see what happens with the election. Okay, first, uh, this issue, why do you think this matters so much and means that Hillary Clinton should win the character contest? Well, look, I, I want to go back to, for just for a second, about the emails, right? There were the, the emails. The thing that Hillary Clinton was able to do is she apologized for the emails. She said she made a mistake, and she, she moved on. It's come up a couple times, and the drip, drip, drip certainly has hurt her. But on the other end, speak to your question, Donald Trump refuses to apologize, right? He yeah, bragged. If you apologize bragged, about the emails, you are... Um, revealing or exposing yourself, making yourself vulnerable right. to impropriety, not illegality and sexual but assault. That's a much thing, bigger give. The thing about it is he bragged about not apologizing, even to his wife on the debate stage. She says it's not true. But still, it's what, what it did, right? What it, it had to embarrass her to some degree for it to be out there, right? And not only that, he talked about changing the libel laws, right? So that he can sue journalists for writing bad stories about him, which, by the way, is an, is an attack on First Amendment right. And then we continue. And then he threatens to, to, uh, to, to sue the women who have come forward. I mean, all of these things add up to really the character of this, of this, pres of this person who's running for president. What's the rebuttal? Well, the rebuttal is very clear. 30% of the American people think Hillary Clinton is honest and trustworthy. Those are unequivocal numbers. We've never seen that. This is a historic low for any candidate running for office. We've seen time and time again, I want my emails out when they actually come out, and they say, well, the Russians hacked them, and they don't want to say they're true, they don't want to say they're not true, they just don't want to talk about them. You know, she had the opportunity to put these emails out. Her own team talked about her as the emailer in chief, the concerns about this, the concerns about the private email system. Hillary Clinton is very simple. One set of rules for her, a different set of rules for everybody else. When you what look about, at what the what FBI about came out with. What about what I asked you about? But when you look at what the FBI said. Well, hold on a second. We'll get to that. Well, that's the bash Clinton part. Yes, that's, that's the part we're this in. That's my the, favorite part. This is the bash Trump part. I don't these, like women, that part. these women came forward, uh, and he you know, is attacking them, saying he's going to sue them. He was being coy there with George about whether or not he'll sue. I don't know what that's about. But how about his response to this situation and what it means in terms of an insight into his character? Okay, I think what he has said and he has said this time and time again, these incidents didn't occur. And there's two people in these incidents which know if they did occur. Donald Trump and whoever the other person is. And what we do know is that a number of these individuals, uh, you know, we look at the woman from California whose first cousin came out and said Donald Trump, you know, she praised Donald Trump, wanted her to come to the restaurant. All of a sudden, you know, now she's bashing him. The woman on the airplane, the person who's sitting across from them in first class at this event never took place. When defenses like that were offered for Bill Clinton by his sympathizers, you guys I, I, attacked it I, I wholesale. Now you're using the same rationale. Look, you can't choose, critical? You, you can't choose who witnesses what they see. And, you know, what we saw is this individual who's on the airplane who witnessed this incident not taking place was chastised by the media because the guys had a tough background. All right, now, that's fair. Can pivot to, uh, well, do you want to make a point on yeah, this? Yeah, I just want to make a point. There was a poll that came out just... a couple of days ago that talked about the, um, Donald Trump's, um, how he responded, right, to these allegations. And 59% of the voters said they didn't like how he responded. And this is not saying that the allegations are true or not. Just his response, just the...
a lack of sympathy, just a lack of understanding what sexual assault actually is, majority of voters said, yeah, we, yeah, we don't like the way he responded. All right, so that's that issue. Now, on the Clinton side, WikiLeaks will say it has been the culmination. There have been so many things that have been looked at over decades, um, and a lot of that has been brought up again, and that was part of the strategy, and not of, not of your making necessarily, but certainly of the campaigns in its present form. Uh, WikiLeaks seems to be the, why do you believe what is coming out in these stolen emails, which does matter, if you know, Russia hacking emails well, look, putting Donald, them out uh, to distort the election? Huh? Donald Trump's tax returns were stolen. How do we know? Who, how do they end up on the front page of the New York Times? Where's didn't the have outcry? to be stolen. Where's the outcry Did, of that? Didn't have to be stolen. Look, the bottom line is the emails are factual because if they weren't, they'd put out the emails that were, were different than what has been released. WikiLeaks has never doctored an email. We know that to be true or else someone... I'm just saying that. I'd like to see the Trump ones. Not from Donald Trump Donald himself. Trump I know he doesn't use email, but I'd like to see yours. Yeah. I'd like to see Manafort's. I'd that. like to see Bossy's. I'd love to see this, Bannon's. This goes back to the Clinton cabal for years and years and years of the concern... Robbie had with her name tied to the foundation, what we see is a $12 million gift from the Moroccan king that she agreed to, and then all of a sudden Bill Clinton and Chelsea had to fit in for. Look, Chelsea Clinton herself was concerned about people using her father's name to make money. What we saw now is Doug Ban. This guy is a genius. I want to hire this guy because all the money he's made for the Clinton team. $66 million guaranteed for the president. The, the closeness between the foundation and the money-making cabal that's going on, at bare minimum, it shows a lack of ethics and standards. Semblance, that the semblance of impropriety, smell test, dirty, all, whatever measure you want to put on it. Do you believe WikiLeaks uh, reveals a reality about... The trip of the, of the WikiLeaks, I would have to admit, is annoying, right? It's not, it's something that, it's kind of like a pain, just a pain, but there is no smoking gun there. And, you know, I would like to ask Corey, look, you know, if the Russians uh, leaked and stole emails from your campaign, would, you know, what would they say? Do, do you think they're really less, in, less conflict between the inside of the... What, what they wouldn't the say is the quid pro quo. What they wouldn't say is we're going to use my job as the State Department Secretary of State and my husband as a former president to make money for me and my family and my foundation. They wouldn't say any of those things. Donald Trump's a private businessman. And what we do know is that they have sold their access to Bill Clinton and to Hillary Clinton. And just this year is when they finally decided to stop taking foreign donations. They were taking foreign donations. Look, go back and look at her testimony in front of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee when she was being confirmed in March of 2009 and what they said. She said, said that she would make sure that there wasn't any not more conflict. Not just her, John there. Kerry the said it. So you'll be judged by your actions, right. not the your last words. Point, we're yeah, gonna here's the thing, we have to take your word for it, right? Because the Russians are, are trying to influence one side and not, and, and have, we don't know we if have it's have the Russians. It. And even if it is, the, the bottom okay. line is you've got to drop that. That's, 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 is, not, even that's not helping the we've cause. Learned, is it, is it we've learned over and over, and over again, the fact again is that the Russians the are indeed involved in this. Look, I don't think they should I mean, be. We've Let's continue, we'll continue this. We'll continue this in the break, Kareem. Corey, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, you. what do you think about this? Tweet us at New Day or post your comment on Facebook.com slash New Day. Allison. We have a big update for you on the story of the National Guard members who are being forced to pay back their reenlistment bonuses. Our military expert brings us the latest on this story next. The October clearance event is on. Take an extra 50% off.